welcome back to my nursery and if you're new thanks for stopping by and please subscribe while you're here click that subscribe button hit the notification bell and that way you'll be notified when i do new videos and for those of you who are already subscribed thank you for your continued support of my channel and happy 4th of July, everyone. Well, today is Sunday, July 3rd. So tomorrow is July 4th. But people have been pretty much celebrating the 4th of July holiday weekend or weekend. So it's basically whichever day you choose to celebrate it. So we're going to be celebrating tomorrow. Um because that's when everyone is off from work so we're gonna do our little grilling cookout tomorrow on monday on the 4th of july but i hope everyone is enjoying their long holiday weekend having a good time and staying safe while you're having your fun and so I have today with me my little boy, James, baby Jameson. He is Jameson Sage and he is Sage Asleep by Clea Taylor Dolls. And he was um, sold as a blank kit. So I painted and rooted little James here. So right now he's having some milk. He was a little bit hungry. So we had to kind of give him a little drink of milk and he's falling asleep now. But what I wanted to do was change little Mr. James here because I hadn't really changed any of my babies for the 4th of July. So I figured I wanted to at least change one of the babies. I don't know if I'll change anybody else, but he is the baby of choice to change into something for the holiday weekend something red white and blue right now he's wearing my only fourth of july bib and it says baby's first fourth with the helicopter on it and of course with the red white and blue colors so he got to wear it this year I've had this bib, I want to say for at least two years, maybe two years ago I bought it. So this year he is the little guy that's wearing it. And I just wanted to get a couple of pictures of him with it on. I need to clean out his mouth because when I use the um, lubricating jelly, the jelly one, the KY, it gets in their mouth and then you have to get a Q-tip and kind of swab around in there and clean it out. It doesn't do anything to them, but every now and then if you use the KY jelly, let's see, do I have it up here? If you use this one on your silicone babies pacifiers, the jelly, and it's personal lubricant, it's water-based, it's safe for silicone dolls. But this jelly tends to get a little clunky. It turns to a gel. And so then you take a, a Q-tip. You could put a little warm water on it if you like. And just swab around in there. And clean all of the jelly out. And then use the dry part of the Q-tip. And then dry their mouth back out. If you use this one. Which is also KY Liquid. Same water-based lubricant. Safe for your silicone baby. This one is liquidy. If you can see it on the, the camera and this one doesn't clunk up in their mouth that's the good thing about this one because it's liquid so but either of them work and I just put a little dot of it on the pacifiers you probably can see a little bit is already on here or the bottle nipples and basically what it does it just makes that bottle glide right into their mouth and glide out and it doesn't cause friction on the paint or jet the gloss rather on the baby's lips it protects their paint and their gloss so little mr jameson sage he is sage asleep as i said i'm gonna just change him into a little outfit um 
He's a full body silicone, as you can see. He is what you would call soft silicone, um, platinum silicone, and he doesn't have any drink and wet system. He doesn't have any armatures. He's basically what you would call the base model, meaning he doesn't have any added features. He's just all poured in one piece. He has the flexible neck and he's soft, but he's not too soft. I actually love how soft he is. He's like perfect where he's not too soft and he's not too firm. He's like right where he should, where he needs to be, especially say if it's someone who doesn't like the super soft, this baby is perfect. He is a kit edition baby. And as I always say with the kit edition babies, the pour varies from doll to doll, baby to baby, each pour. Some of them could be super soft and floppy. And then some of them could be perfectly Poor like him he's not too soft and he's not too firm he's right in the middle so you basically you won't know until you get the baby home how they're gonna feel sometimes and he is definitely like the perfect little um blend so he's gonna get this little overalls but um baby bagage by oshkosh it is red and white it's red with white stripes and then it has just the dark blue patch on it so i guess that's the little bit of blue and then it has the baby bagosh in the back of it and it has real little pockets back here and i had bought this outfit last year and i actually have two of them i have this one for the boys and then i have the little dress just like this it's a dress for the girls um, but I didn't dress any of the girls yet. And last year, um, my, should I change his diaper? I actually like this diaper, but you know what? I'm going to change him. Um, last year, I had put the same little overalls on my Willow Asleep Boy, Jackson. So he's getting a pamper. I'm trying to use up some of my pampers. I have so many of them. I didn't even know I had them. So now that I discovered them, I'm trying to use them up. And this is a size one he's getting and a size one he's actually wearing of a pamper. So yeah, I had put that same outfit last year on my little Jackson. So I figured I'd see how it would fit this little guy here. And then Amani had wore the dress last year, my Willow girl. And so I didn't really want to put it back on her again this year, but I could have. But I think it's something else I want to put back on her, actually. So I might end up doing a video and change Amani. I don't know. Even if it's after the fourth, I might still put that little outfit on her. That's how badly I want to see her in it again. And you guys will see it when I put it on her. You'll remember her wearing it before. So I might come back and um, change her next. But I don't know if it'll be before tomorrow on the 4th. So she might put it on after the 4th. So now he has a fresh diaper. And I'm not even going to put a shirt. This is um basically mostly white on the inside of it. So I think he'll be fine if he wears it without an actual shirt. So I can see his little skin. That is the fun part about silicones. Full body silicones is that you want to see their little silicone skin. It just like, they look so real. You just want to see, see as much of them as you can. Especially when the weather is warm like this. Because during the winter we have them all covered up most of the time. So that is what I do enjoy with the summertime is that you get to see more of the silicone babies in the summer. You can just have them in a diaper if you want. And I still have my cuddle baby, speaking of full bodies, and then I have the cuddle baby still here. And I've had so many inquiries on Bubbles by Clea Taylor, which is a cuddle baby. 
I'll show her briefly before I end the video. I'll show her again. But she's still for sale. She's still available. I've had so many people inquiring about her. Um, but what I'm finding with selling right now, and I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like things are slow. Like people aren't buying like they were. And I don't know if it's because of the situation right now. Um, people aren't spending as much. People are being more cautious with their spending at the moment. And I guess in a lot of people's situation, although we might love the dolls, they might love the dolls. Um, they're just not buying as fast as before. Um, and then also it could be like as I'm selling, trying to sell and have been selling dolls for a while. A lot of people want the full body silicone babies like this little boy here. And that is the thing with the cuddle babies. They, you know, they're not a full body. So I don't know if that's what the situation is. Also, like I said, I'm finding a lot of people want her, but they want layaway. Um, and I really didn't want to do a layaway. I feel like her price is affordable, is decent. Um, and she's a cuddle baby, so she is more affordable anyway. And they want like a six month layaway, a lot of people. And I just can't really afford to do a six month layaway with a cuddle baby. Um, that just seems just like too long for me. <laughs> um for six months too long so that's why i guess that's why she's still here little bubbles she's hanging around i don't know like i said is it meant for me to keep her so i put these little um his blue sandals on and they look black but they're actually like a really dark blue so that is his red white and blue for the fourth of july um he has this red passy, but I don't, I like him in a passy, but I don't really give him passies because I like his little, his chubby lips. And then he has where you can see his tongue in there, if you guys can see it. And I love when you can kind of see the baby's tongues in their mouth without doing anything. You kind of look at them, you see that little tongue and then his little chubby lips. And then he has that little dimple on his chin. So I don't even really give him passies, but I'll give him his little red one since it matches his little outfit. I had took out this blue one too, but I think this is the wrong blue. It throws off the red, white, and blue. So we are gonna give him the red. So now he is all dressed. And if anybody's interested in Clear Taylor's Dolls, she has a YouTube channel, Clear Taylor Dolls. It's her channel. And you can go over and watch some of her videos. Any dolls that she releases, she does videos on them on her channel. Like I said, he was sold as a blank kit. And um, I painted and rooted him. She sells blank kits and she also sells completed dolls. And now she is also selling um, cuddle baby dolls. And this is Little Bubbles by Clea Taylor. So she is a cuddle baby and I've shown her a few times already. Plus she has her own video where I did all like showed her details and talk all about her. But she's still available for sale. She she can be a girl or boy, basically, this baby. You, I have her dressed as a girl right now. But when I first showed her, I believe I had her dressed as a boy. I probably will put that video at the end of this one where you can just click it if anybody's interested and want to go and see that video where she's dressed as a boy. But she has silicone feet, as you can see. Her little feet. And her feet go to the ankle. And then the rest of her is cloth. If you can see the cloth. Her whole body is cloth. And then she has the little silicone hands that go to the wrist. If you can see that. 
and then her silicone head. So this is what you would call a silicone cuddle body baby with silicone head, hands, and feet. Um, and she's being so bald. She is not rooted. She has rooted eyelashes. She has brown, dark brown eyes, an open mouth. She could take a pacifier. And she was also painted by me. We're going to move him over. I haven't even put these two together, actually, to see, like, where they're together together to see their coloring. She is. A, she looks a little bit lighter than him. Because I was thinking they was more of the same coloring. But now as I put her near him, if you can see on camera, she is definitely a tad bit lighter than him. So they're not exactly the same skin tone. But both of these two were painted by me. So if you're interested in Little Miss Cuddle Baby Girl here, but Bubbles, or she could be your Cuddle Baby Boy, if you want to dress her as a boy, um, she's available and you can see pictures of her on my Instagram. You can message me on my Instagram if you're interested and want to know her price. I won't put the price under the video. So if you have any questions, if you're interested, please go over to my Instagram and message me there. Direct message me. Um, the Instagram link is always under my videos. You just click it and it'll take you right over to my Instagram. It's right in the description under all of my videos. So let me move her out of his video. That is Little Miss Bubbles. Or baby bubbles because it could be a boy or a girl as I said and that's all for now guys so enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend have a nice happy and safe 4th of July and we shall see you in the next video I keep taking his passy out. I really love him without the pacifier. But there he is. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe.